Can you recommend a grinding wheel that will eliminate burr? First of all, you got to get over the idea that you're going to eliminate burr. You will never ever eliminate burr. Just through the nature of the grinding operation, plowing, you're always going to get some burr. Even polishing operations, very, very fine polishing, get a little bit of burr formation. So you have to decide how much burr can I tolerate. Now, of course, you can remove that burr later on, but from grinding, you're going to get some burr. You've got to figure out, okay, how much can I handle? So you've got to decide. That burr, you might say, is bad. This amount of burr is maybe not so bad. This amount of burr is good, or maybe this amount of burr is really good, or maybe it's not acceptable. If you're making a cheap drill bit, you could probably handle a little bit of burr. If you're making a scalpel to do heart surgery, well, even in that case, you probably don't want to have even a little bit of burr formation. So you've got to determine how much is acceptable. So, some ways to reduce burr, not eliminate, but reduce it, is you can use a softer wheel. A softer wheel, the grits break away when they become dull, it stays sharper, you get less burr. You can use a more angular grit instead of a blocky grit, attacks the wheel more aggressively, reduces burr. You can use a more friable grit. The more friable grit breaks more easily, it's not tough, so the grit is self-sharpening. Uh, in super abrasives or CBN, you can use a lower grit concentration. Uh, you can use a smaller grit size, especially in CBN. You can use a more open dress or a more aggressive dress. Or you can use better cooling. Or maybe several of these. I prefer the last three I put in red. I find that a smaller grit size tends to work pretty well. I found that a more open dress works wonders, but you're going to get a more rough surface finish. And one of the best ways to reduce burr is to improve your cooling. Burr formation is caused by plastic deformation. Hot things are more ductile. So if you can keep that workpiece cool, you keep it less ductile, you're less likely to get severe burr. That's why brittle materials you don't really see burr because they're so brittle they just break off. They don't stretch and stretch and stretch. So all of these are methods to reduce burr, but the main message I want to leave you with is you're never going to eliminate it, you're just going to reduce it. So forget about the idea of eliminating burr.